All right, hello, and welcome back to another session of I, the Sovereign Files, Nirvana Initiative. Hope you guys are doing well, as always, and uh, I've got a bit of a kink in my neck. Yeah, oh, and <laughs> finished the sentence, uh, but yeah, kind of hurts a bit, I don't know why. But uh, anyways, last session, I mean, we could load, load in, but uh, I think the big thing that happened last session was when to to uh, Tokiko's... I don't know why I call her Toriko, Okiko, uh, her Somnium. And then uh, there was a few things that we couldn't really understand. You know, we saw Gen, we saw Shoma. I assume it was, you know, there's some kind of relation. Uh, I assume that uh, Tokiko is the mother of Gen. Because, well, later we find out that uh, she died. The, the, the terror guy, the terror. Uh, he killed her. She got split into two. And uh, doing our analysis, our examination, we saw that she gave birth at one point, like tw like a few years ago. And by a few years, I mean like two decades ago, like 20 years or something like that. But I feel like the other, the relation with Shoma, it's probably that they, they probably do know each other uh, at, at some extent, maybe... Um, they're both, uh, I don't know, maybe something to do with nice, who knows. But I think that was the biggest thing, right? Um, the biggest thing was that a Tokiko died, and also the fact that, uh, but we'll see, we'll this see. This can't be happening. Who would do something like this? Ryuki, you're going to play the fleeing culprit this time. Terror used this elevator to bring Tokiko's right half into the room. Tokiko. She said Nyes isn't a religious group, but this is clearly... Kuruto Ryuki, you're being demoted to a police officer. Yeah, there we go. That was the big thing. Uh, Ryuki has like three days to solve this case, which I believe uh, isn't the thing. This is the case. What is your preferred... Uh, what's that? C cacao? <laughs> cacao? Caca? Caca? <laughs> The cow is that it's not cocoa? It's uh, it's a, what, what if I say zero? That's not chocolate, impish. All right, yeah. So, uh, three days before we get demoted, and I'm pretty sure th that did happen. Maybe I don't know. The thing is, Ryuki still has Tama, he probably did got demoted as a police officer. Who knows. Or maybe he did solve it. I don't know. We, we got a few more things to do. We've got to ask some people a few things. I believe in the garden, it might be Shoma? Question mark? Or maybe the top of the rooftop is Shoma. I don't know about the garden. Fuck it. Uh, Lemon Skate. Uh, Iris wants to talk to us. Yes, that's correct. Uh, Marble. We have to. Go I believe we're going to Mama. The person who was in the bar from the last game. Apparently, uh, she... Um, he's a fallen shell now, I believe. What's in the garden? I don't even know. Let's find out. Ah, my neck hurts. Yeah, this morning I woke up, my neck like hurt like hell. Didn't sleep correctly. All right, there's a Mizuki. There's a uh, isn't a. Why are you here? To question people for the investigation. Why are you two here? Kizzy comes here to play with the kids sometimes. She really loves kids. Yes, I find it quite soothing. And it energizes me. I'm just tagging along. That makes sense. Mizuki could probably fit in with the kids pretty good. I feel like I just got insulted. Mind if I kick your ass? <laughs> Vixis is quite popular with the children here. She played with them often when she was still living with Mr. Date as well. Yeah, we need to talk to Kizuna at one point because her father... Was her name Kizuna? I don't know. Richie? <laughs> I believe that's... Uh, her father's name is Richie something. I don't... I don't recall. Uh... Ah, uh, we did not get much of a chance to speak yesterday. So, it was just yesterday. For various reasons, I have been living with another girl since I was nine years old. Another girl? Not your relative. 
No, we were not related by blood. We were the same age, but I referred to her as Big Sis. She was so beautiful, collected, and dependable. She was the spitting image of an older sister. There is something about Mizuki that reminds me of her. Hmm, I see. Beautiful and collected, huh? Why does that look in your eyes offend me so much right now? Is she not with you anymore? When she turned 15, she was adopted. So, we do not live together any longer. I see. A questioning? You mentioned you were questioning people. Is someone here related to the case? I'm here to talk to your father, Mr. Richi Chieda. There we go, Richi. What? My father? Yeah, I heard he's here. He is, though I believe he is currently in a meeting. I see. Then I guess I'll wait until he's done. Indeed, we have been quite close. Some time ago, when I nearly got in trouble with some delinquents in town, Mr. Date saved me. Since then, I have been showing my gratitude with home-cooked meals. Or booking a hotel room for him if he is unable to go home for whatever reason. Like when we got in a big fight and I kicked him out. As we continue to interact, we have come to form a sort of mutually beneficial relationship. You must like Mr. Date, Kizuna. Yes, but merely as a friend. She was pretty direct about it. Yep. That old vibrating bed of a man would never be a viable romantic candidate. The old vibrating bed of a man. Alright, what are you looking at, Mizuki? Oh, nothing. Being here takes me back. It's all right now, because I am here. Half might. Look at that face. W what? Stuff of nightmares. You just seemed kind of quiet, so I thought maybe you weren't feeling well. But I'm always like this. Though now that you mention it, I guess my old leg wound is bothering me a bit. The old leg wound. You got shot there. Wait, where are you looking, perv? Huh? You brought it up. By the way, is that a bullet wound? Yeah. Doesn't it hurt? No, not really. It's from when I got shot by the new Cyclops killer. But I think the pain I felt inside was worse. Now I'll be scarred forever because of that bastard. Is she? Why? She got shot in the leg? I do, why? Why? So what is it you wish to discuss? Hey, there he is. Man of the hour. F father And who is this? Mr. Ryuki from the police. He is investigating the HB case. I'm in short time. I'm about to get demoted. I see. I mean, uh, we are technically demoted, right? It's a but... pleasure to meet you. My name is Kuruto Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department. I wonder what happened. I wonder what happened. May I ask you some questions? That's fine. But I don't have much time. I would appreciate it if you're quick about it. And before this guy dies, most likely. Indeed I am. An investor and founder of the Chieda Foundation. You're also the chief director of Iowen and a major shareholder of Horadori Institute of Genetics, is that right? And all of that has kept me quite busy. So, you already know all that about me. What more do you want me to say? <sighs> this guy's a piece of work. Two plucks him. He obviously doesn't respect us. I mean, he is one of the wealthiest people on Earth. A police officer is probably like an aunt to him. Of course I know about it. One of the victims was from the research institute I invest in. Alright, that's the connection. Sorry if that- <laughs> I made a weird noise, did I? I've suffered heavy losses because of it. It was quite the aggravating incident. Yeah, sorry if I did make a weird as a citizen, noise. I would like the police to resolve this problem as quickly as possible. Before they waste any more of our taxes, that is. Oh, the taxes. Ugh. Uh, about Jin? Jin Furaway. You mean the first victim? Of course I know of him. In fact, anyone involved in finance couldn't avoid knowing him. Were you close with him at all? Not particularly. I checked. He and Jin had practically no contact with each other. Who's that? The president of Nye's Japan. Nye's? I'm not familiar. I've never even heard of it. That's fine. Uh, relationship with Chika? He's the director of the research institute I'm funding. Or maybe I should say was. Either way, that was the extent of our relationship. 
he was quite, well, an eccentric individual. And? I only invested in his work. I don't care what his personality was like. It doesn't concern me as long as it doesn't affect his job. Was there any work-related trouble? Not at all. You seem to be searching for a motive for me to kill Chikara. However, I gain nothing from his death. I have suffered nothing but losses because of this incident. Hey, this guy's kind of assuming In something. other words, I am a victim as well. And you know what happens when someone assumes. You suspect me of all people. The police in this country continue to prove their own uselessness. Seriously, what is up with this guy? If only he didn't have so much authority, we could pin something on him and book him. Well, hold on now. Valtrikara? Yeah, when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. I that's understand that's you what happens when you assume. shareholder of Horidori Institute. As the de facto owner of the Research Institute, I'm sure you must know of its origins and insider information. What are you trying to say? All right, explain the information about Trikura that Tama had obtained. About the dubious research that he had been conducting. About the rumors of human experiments and that his research facility was forced to shut down nine years ago. Now you, <laughs> you slurred that one pretty hard. Along with the fact that Trikura disappeared in order to be avoid being investigated. And the current research institute was built after the heat from that incident had settled down. Did you know all of this? I did. Oh. You provided the capital required to rebuild the research institute, did you not? Yes. The gene therapy research that was being led by Chikara. That research had a great deal of value and potential. Even with all the advancements in this day and age, there are many people who are still suffering from incurable diseases. Not to mention all of the children who can't live a normal life due to the illnesses they were born with. I have seen the suffering of so many people, precious to me. Chikara's research had the potential to help all of those people. It brought hope to humanity itself. It's certainly true that his personality and past weren't without issues, and I won't deny that the research faced criticism due to its radical nature. Still, if it can help alleviate the suffering of so many people, I wanted to put my support behind it. In other words, I invested in the future that Research Institute could bring us. Tama, is there anyone in Mr. Chieda's family that has an incurable disease? And then it's Kizna. No, and of course, he doesn't have one himself either. His only daughter is completely healthy, and his wife, Kizuna's mother, passed away long ago. Is that the case, question mark? What were you doing two days ago, February 11th, around 8 p.m.? And on February 9th at 6 a.m. What is that supposed to be? Confirming my alibi? Yes, well, it's only a formality. <sighs> I see the police have no problem wasting people's time. Well, fine. Two days ago, I was having dinner with the Federation of Economic Organizations in Ginza. I was on a business trip on the 9th, and I stayed at a hotel in Kyoto. Tama? I just checked. He's telling the truth. He was spotted on surveillance cameras in each location. Well, we've got nothing nothing else to say. So let's piss off. Mm -hmm. What is it? No, it's just... Is this your first time here? This is your first time here? Kizzy's invited me a bunch of times before. Come on, translators. Big Sis is very popular among the children. And she's it... great at keeping them entertained. Never mind, I was gonna say uh, typesetters, but I, I'm not as good as you, Kizzy. I see. Feel free to come back anytime. Any friend of Kizuna is welcome here. Ryuki, I just looked into Iowan. I came across some interesting information. That's his company, right? Twenty-three years ago, a child in their care went missing. Wait, oh, what if it's never mind. What? No man. The child was six at the time. His name was Uru Somazuki. It was reported extensively, but he still hasn't been found. Wink sink. No matter how much wealth you have, there is a limit to the people you can save. How powerless I am. Perhaps it's necessary to be accepting of help wherever you can get it. 
Looks like he struck a deal with someone. Oh, about to. Mr. Chieda, there's one more thing I'd like to ask. What is it? It's about Uru Somazuki. You remember him, don't you? Yes. I will never forget. The Iowan missing child. That's what the media called it back then. Was it a kidnapping or an accident? The case was never solved. And the child is still missing to this day. What a painful memory. It makes my heart ache. As the chairman, I take full responsibility. But wouldn't you agree that the police should take most of the blame? After mobilizing so many investigators, they weren't able to find a single clue. What do you think, Tama? He has some personality issues, but he doesn't seem like an evil monster. It doesn't seem like he's lying either. Though, it is concerning that so many mysterious incidents have been happening around him. Are we done here? We've wasted enough time, I think. I'll be going now. Uh oh Father! Where did you came from? Please! Let me marry your daughter! I swear I'll give her a good life! I swear it to the heavens! So please, please, give me permission to marry your daughter. Kizuna, I'll be coming home late again tonight. Yes. Goodbye, father. Wait! Wait! Please don't ignore me! Kizuna, who is this? A stranger. Oh, wait, 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 wait! We met at Matsushina Diner two days ago! You're that unemployed guy, Lian, right? Did you go to the unemployment office? Uh, I'm gonna go tomorrow. That's a no. <laughs> In other words, you're a leech on society. I've never sucked anyone's blood. I don't think he was being literal. No job, no education, no manners. Not to mention, you're drinking in the middle of the day. Oh, uh, but this is non-alcoholic. And you dare call me father. To put it frankly, I wouldn't touch you with a ten-foot pole. How rude! I'm a human being, thank you very much. And I am not a pole vaulter! In any case, stay away from my daughter. Though it's not like she would give you the time of day anyway. I wonder when uh, Lien becomes that locksmith. Uh, wait! Maybe in the future. Six years and in, into the future. Aww. Kizzy's dad must be really busy. I don't think that was the issue. Looks like he's feeling down, but his core remains undamaged. Alright, we're gonna talk to Lien. We meet oh, again. It's you again. You seem to show up wherever I go. Maybe we're connected somehow. Not that oh, I to be connected with the dude. Ah, you were at Matsushita Diner too, weren't you? Yeah, why? Um, wait. Uh, what's this called again? Rendezvous? What? No, that's not it. A uh, fleur -de -lis. What the hell is this guy talking about? I have no idea. Uh, I almost have it. It's right at the back of my uvula. Can I choke slam him? As you know, I met Kizzy two days ago. That's correct. Not to sheet a diner. When that I is saw correct. Her, it was love at first sight. And I tried to get her attention. When Kizzy left the diner, I followed her. He stalked her? When she boarded a train, I spent all my money to get on the same one. When she went in the girl's bathroom, I followed her. Huh? <laughs> Ryuki, cuff him. Yeah, we could cuff him. But decided not to go inside. Ooh. Even though she kept ignoring me, nearly, I never nearly gave got up him. trying to talk to her. And finally, in Yoyagi Park, she acknowledged me. Kizzy finally decided to accept my love. I told him it was acceptable to be strictly friends. Look at that disgust. So, you gave in. 
You set a bad precedent there. However, I believe you promised you would be more serious about your job search. I do not associate with those who do not work, let alone be friends with them. Yeah, but I was here yesterday, so... It was indeed helpful of you to play with the children. However, that does not conclude your promise to me. I'm sorry. I feel like we're destined to be together, Kizzy. I want to stay by your side. My name, Lian is spelled L-I-E-N. In French, Lian means bond, just like Kizuna means bond in Japanese. Well, well, how about it? <laughs> That's destiny, right? Hmm. Sounds like a bit of a stretch. I agree. Oh, uh, I totally crashed and burned today. All because this thing caused a misunderstanding. Uh, that wasn't the issue. Meeting the parents is a once-in-a-lifetime event. I wanted to calm my nerves a bit. But I'm definitely gonna get his approval next time we meet. That's some real positive thinking. Huh, damn right. If you aren't in it to win it, you've already lost. Maybe you could learn something from him, Ryuki. Don't even suggest it. But I was basically told that I'm useless just three days ago. Can't say it doesn't sting after hearing it so many times. Often three days ago. Remember how I said I got fired from my cleaning job? And the place I worked was Horadori Institute. What? Oh. I actually used to be a thief. I was so good at lockpicking, they called me the master of unlocking. I used my skills to borrow valuables many times. I've gone clean, of course. I got arrested, did my time, and I haven't stolen anything since. All right, makes sense uh, why the lockpick is the locksmith later down the line. I was so stupid back then, and I honestly regret it from the bottom of my heart. But Shikara Horidori, the director, found out about my criminal record. And he fired me. A hypocritical, ain't it? He told me, a person who falls to those depths can never rise again. They win. Damn it. It's just not fair. I've been working hard since I got out of jail. That's why I was like that back at the diner, by the way. To be honest, I was debating whether I should just kill myself. That's when an angel appeared before me. Me? That's right, Kizzy. You. I felt saved. I wanted to give it my all and live again. You saved my life. Leon, please tell me one thing. Anything! You have not stolen a single thing since you were released? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course I haven't. Time to wing sync the guy. So you haven't used your lockpicking skills either? Huh? Pretty sure we've heard him, right? He was talking to someone, right? Huh? Uh. Oh, hold on! Don't tell me you broke into someone's house! N no that's not wrong, but it's wrong! It's true that I opened a lock and broke in somewhere, but I wasn't committing a crime! Question time. Why was I born into this world? Something needs to be done. Thinking about that is life, <laughs> is it? Shut up, it's part of, there's like two questions that are scuffed. Or two answers that are scuffed. You know, let's click on this one. We've got the loving. Turn into iracy. Let's see. A new... What, what are these called? Oh, <laughs> for God. Ask about the break-in. Last night? Last night? Last night. You broke into a house? No, not a house. Pretty sure it was the institute somewhere, right? Uh, I guess I have to say. It. Well, camera, I, don't, I just played around with the camera. I broke in to Horadori Institute. What? Oh, but like I said, it wasn't a crime. Yeah, it was talking to someone. Let's not forget. It was for an investigation. I was helping the police. The police. Strange. I didn't hear anything about that. Same. Maybe it was unrelated to the HB case. The goal was to get inside the hidden room inside Horadori Institute. A hidden room, huh? But in the end, we didn't find anything. 
So I didn't take anything either. Please believe me. Wait, who asked you to do this investigation? I can't tell you that. It's supposed to be a secret. You're coming with us, down to the... <laughs> secret? You just told us the whole thing. Anyway, I just want you to know I didn't do anything illegal. At all. Very well. I will trust you, Liam. Oh, thank you! You really are an angel, Kizzy! Oh, crap. I forgot to mention something important. I should have said this earlier, Kizzy. The order was supposed to be the other way around, but here it goes. Kizzy, please marry me. You got glass slippers? Wait a minute. Is that? I hope my Prince Charming will appear before me with a glass slipper someday. That's my dream. Not an engagement ring, but an engagement shoe. I bought them using my entire life savings. Oh, damn, we're going to zoom in. Please, accept. I... I... cannot accept that. Look at that. We would need to have a relationship for an adequate amount of time first. What? Kizzy. You mean, you'll date me? No, that is not what I meant by relationship. I meant that we would need to spend time together as friends. How long? How long? Hey, how long would we need to be friends? Well... Five years... No, perhaps six. If after six years you still feel the same way, then... Okay, got it. Then I'll take good care of this for six years. What? Seriously? What if you lose them? Or break them? Hey, I have a good idea. Oh? What's the idea, Ryuki? Oh. There. I'm gonna bury it. Slippers in there. Oh, in six years. Oh, right. I was like, hey, six years is a pretty long years. <laughs> pretty long. Just realized that's the time skip. And the letters. Jesus Christ. I wrote out what am I thinking? Now in one of the letters. And in the other... I have written how I currently feel in that letter. It's like, damn, Kizuna, she's, just, she's playing it safe, you know? She's six years? All right. Yeah, that's the time skip. Oh. This is a time capsule. We'll bury it here, then dig it out six years from now. That's the hall. If you still feel the same way as what's written in the letters in six years. I wonder what happens. Yeah, then you'll accept the shoes. Right, Kizzy? Yes, then perhaps. Yeah, perhaps. Huh. You know, that is kind of romantic. I didn't know you had this sort of sign to you, Ryuki. Okay, I'm burying it now. Yeah, not a bad idea, Ryuki. Ah, uh, I can't wait. Six years. Six years is a pretty long time. You sure you're still gonna feel the same way? Of course. My love is eternally undying. Huh? Kizuna, what's wrong? Oh, that again. What? You know how dogs pee when they get excited? Uh... It's kind of like that. Uh, I don't get it. Just watch. He's gonna do a routine. Let us begin. Start the music! No, don't tell me it's the same song.
It's gonna be a sad day when uh, Kisner gets split into two. so two days ago too you really are good at dancing kizuna thank you yeah that was seriously amazing mm -hmm. <laughs> well i need to get going now yeah see you later have a nice day good luck with the investigation calm before the storm huh All right, show me here. Oh, Mr. Ryuki, what are you doing here? Here to see me on stage, perhaps? Sorry, but I won't be performing today. He isn't. Oh. Actually, I'm here to talk to Shoma. To Shoma? Ferris wheel with you. Aren't you having fun? I would be if you weren't here. Ryuki, Shoma is actually responding to the conversation this time. This is proof that the chastity belt of his heart is loose. If you shove yourself in there, he just might open up. Could you please not phrase it like that? Uh, alright, that's the cursor. told you before she's just a classmate we're not friends and i don't know much about her supposedly she's attending school from her house near the harbor but i guess her permanent address is in our school district or something that's why she goes to the same school as me so you do know a lot about her N no that doesn't mean anything not like i'm even slightly interested in that uggo well he really is a kid huh I don't want to talk about my dad. I told you before. I don't even want to think about him. Will you cut it out already? I don't want to talk about my dad. I already told you. I hate him. Huh. Happy now? I hate him so much. I didn't even want to say it out loud. But you were with him earlier. I was here alone at first, then Dad came. He wanted to make up. Make up? Dad and I are fighting. Oh, I skipped it. <laughs> what happened? I just hit R2 accidentally. Ran, ran from home yesterday. All right. My friends made fun of me. Oh, no. How is that related to your dad? Because it's my dad's fault for being so pathetic. Pull yourself together. Show me how cool you can be on TV. That's what I said to my dad. Then... I bring smiles to the audience. If I can do that, I don't care if I get mocked. That's what it means to be an entertainer. When he said that, I blurted out, That's why Mom got sick of you and left. Dad turned bright red, and... Then why don't you just leave too? Oh. That's why... I left the house. Do you think I could like someone like him? A stupid old comedian who gets clowned on all the time. He barely ever goes on TV either. And when he does, it's always some ridiculous thing like getting piping hot Odin shoved into his mouth. The day after he goes on air, I always get made fun of by my friends. I hate it. I'm sick and tired of it. I told you, I hate him. Everything about him. I hate how much he drinks and how he acts so cocky and stubborn when he's drunk. He talks about all these big dreams that he can never achieve. When he sobers up, he remembers what he did when he was drunk and squirms under the blankets. 
Isn't that sad? It makes me hate him even more. The way his nose hair is always sticking out, the way he wipes his face with sanitary napkins, his stupid, awful singing in the bathtub. Everything about him is creepy, awful, and pathetic. I hate him! For hating someone so much, he sure pays him a lot of attention. They say there's a fine line between love and hate. Praise for his one world robot. Should we, yeah, should we go for that? Why did you lie? What lie? You said the hidden message in Bats 490 pointed to Horadori Institute, but that's not true, is it? Can you tell me why you lied and where the actual location is? Truth is, I never decoded it. Oh, damn it. What? I wanted everyone to think that I did. I wanted the attention, so I lied. Are we done now? Don't talk to me. What if anymore. that's a lie? Can we wink sync him? Got a reaction? He's probably lying right now. Yeah. This chastity belt wasn't loose after all. All right, enough of this. If you're going to say it that way, you at least have to add the of his heart part. Anyway, I guess I'll have to talk about something else to get him to loosen up. Oh, here we go. It all connects. The that one wheeled robot. You me the other day was really cool. If N not really. Oops. I'm nothing special i'm just really into robots but even an amateur can tell that robot was filled with impressive technology and the one wheel design is beautiful well i knew it had to run on one wheel for sure it was really hard getting the self-stabilization feature working with the one wheel design like major electronics companies make one wheel robots to show off their advanced tech mm -hmm. also what's really great about my robot is its load capacity it doesn't look like it but it can easily carry up to 45 pounds. And I want to upgrade it more so it can carry double that. I see, I see. <laughs> I know you don't really care. Looks like it won't go the way it did last time. Hmm, I guess flattery won't get us anywhere. Wink, sink, wink, <laughs> wink, sink. About to make a no second rotation. Shoma won't open up no matter what I bring up. Looks like we won't get through with the orthodox method. That we'll have to try our luck with his father. Alright. I need to take off the auto. So I won't skip the lines. Oh boy. Boy, I'm glad you invited me on the Ferris wheel too. Thank you. Our objective is still to unlock Shoma's chastity belt. Of his heart. You're still going on with that? It would be tough to question Komeiji about tricky subjects if Shoma was nearby. That's why you invited him here, right? Yeah, but... Now that I think about it, we rode this Ferris wheel together two days ago. Exactly. Well, Mr. Ryuki, it seems like your investigation is going around in circles. <laughs> so, uh, what is it you wanted to talk about? If it's about the case, there isn't much else to say. I used to be a real big shot back when I was known as the Quiz King, remember? But I let it get to my head, and as soon as I became a comedian, things flipped completely. There was no hope for me to move up in the world. Why did you not just stick with the Quiz King, goddammit? My wife got sick of me and left. I've been raising my boy alone ever since. And yet... Not at all. I'm proud of being a comedian. At the same time, I'm not proud of my lack of success. I've put Shoma through so much hardship. It's inexcusable. After some careful consideration, I told Mr. Komeji that it's highly likely Shoma lied about the hidden message uh, in Bass 490. Shoma lied? Yes. I see. I don't know much about that hidden message thing, but... Shoma is a good boy. He wouldn't lie for no reason. I know that's not that convincing coming from his father, but he must have had a reason to lie. I have no idea. I can't really talk to him right now myself. I'm sure you're aware, but I got in an argument with Shoma yesterday. Oh, what's that? What is that? Shoma made it for me when he was little, but yesterday he ripped it up and 
threw it away. It was really important to me. Hmm. I want to make up, but he... It must be difficult, considering how things are now. It's all my fault. The argument only happened in the first place because of my lack of success. This is the only outfit I have right now. Oh boy. I actually have another set of personal clothes. A starving comedian, huh? But I ruined those two days ago. Oh, what happened to that? What happened to that? This bow tie. That'll be fine as long as I have this. Isn't it nice? Shoma bought it for you, didn't he? That's right. Even if I only have one set of clothes. I can wear this or take it off depending on how I'm feeling and wow. It's as if I changed into a completely different outfit. Not really. Yeah. Oops, it would be terrible if I lost it, so I'd better put it back on. Yeah, I might lose it in my hands. This tie, Shoma chose it for me so I could really shine on stage. When I wear it, it feels like Shoma is cheering me on. It gives me strength. It's my most precious treasure. Um, Mr. Ryuki, there is something I'd like to talk to you about. What is it? No, never mind. Please forget it. Oh, What's no. That about? It sounded like you wanted to tell me something important. Secret messages. Hey, Ryuki, why don't you try wink syncing with him? Alright. Yeah, I'll try taking Wink sync. Wink sync. <laughs> wink sync. Wink sync. Wink sync. Deadline on the payment passed a long time ago. Drop it up, you bastard! Ah, it's the loan sharks again. A different set of guys came by yesterday and the day before that. I've been borrowing from so many different places, I don't know who's who anymore. Anyway, what am I supposed to do? I can't talk to the police about it. Ah, ah. So, he's borrowed money from a lot of people. He must have been in real trouble if he even got involved with loan sharks. But why can't he talk to the police about it? Don't tell me. Supposedly, he has connection to the Yakuza. Word is, he's involved in some dangerous transactions. Kameji. You wouldn't happen to be struggling with debt, would you? What? How did you- I knew it. That's what you wanted to tell me, right? Why can't you get the police involved? Is it because you're buying and selling on the black market? <laughs> what are you Whoop, talking about? Whoop, that was my about? phone. I would never do something like that. Alright. Tried asking Kameji more questions. No matter uh, how much I question him, he didn't admit to uh, any involvement with the Yakuza. In the end, I was unable to find any clues leading to the key to Shoma's heart. Huh. Shoma isn't here. Where did that boy run off to? We still haven't made up. Well, I better be going. Mr. Ryuki. I need to go find Shoma now. So, well... Bye for now. Excuse me. Meiji and Shoma, huh? It's clear that they're both hiding something. Even if we chase them down and ask again, we'd get the same result. I guess we have no choice. Let's go somewhere else for now. Yeah, let's. I don't know what I picked. <laughs> uh, well, how's the performance review going? We leveled up.
Is this all the uh, achievements for Ryuki's side? Question mark. I don't think so. Uh, anywho. Should we, should we look in that? Wait, hold on. A file? I guess we'll just go through everything. Clean out everything. Hmm. Section 2. Alright. Uh, I'm pretty sure LGBTQ. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, slash questioning. All of them all. Yuzusaki. Uh, alright. Okay, go to the persons of six years ago. Joma. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty funny. Yeah, the, the half body. Oh, game. All right, onwards to Mama, I guess. Golden Yokocho, Marble. Ah, Gen's here. Enamame. She's looking down in that hunchback position. Oh. Welcome. It's been so long. Sorry, Mama, but I'm not here as a customer today. I was wondering if you knew anything about the case. Do you mean the HB case? Yeah. Mame and Gen are here. But they're acting strange. They're both quiet, turned away from each other. Uh, about the case. Well, here's what I know. Uh, what you know about the case? But fortunately, there wasn't any new or useful information. I'm sorry I couldn't help you this time. No, it's fine. Just typical detective work. Gotta earn my pay. Is that a crystal ball? Two crystal balls? Yes, these are my big milky balls. Milky. Balls? Oh, but I'm not talking about testicles, honey. Yeah, I know. I started telling fortunes as a side business. And believe it or not, I actually gained the ability to hear them. Them? Voices from other dimensions. Uh, other dimensions? Yes. One day, I was suddenly gifted with the power. I suppose it's more accurate to call it a seance than fortune telling. They both sound pretty fishy. You're just going to pretend you're hearing voices, aren't you? No, I'm completely serious. I mean, I don't even remember what happens while hearing the voices. Oh, you might believe me oh, if I you just see it in person. Straight up skipped it. What was it? Okay. No, it's okay. No need to be so modest. It'll be free of charge. Come on, take up the offer. Um, we I've go been for the this for a long time. This Who one beforehand. Really, Mama? Me. I'm just your ordinary, everyday, homoerotic connoisseur. No, right, that, that's the Miyuki there. And let me ask the Milky Balls. All right, Milky Balls. Can you stop calling them that. Oh, great set of balls. Who is the most beautiful in all the land? That is Mama, of course. Oh my, <laughs> you flatter. <laughs> That's not even what I wanted to ask. And the answer is completely wrong. That was just a joke. I figured. Ahem. Now, let's try this for real. Oh, great set of milky white balls. I need you to give me some clues for an investigation. One after another, victims have been torn in half in these half-body murders. Where can we find the key to exposing the culprit? Face. 
A hidden face. The true face, as yet unrevealed to all. That is where the answer is hidden. Huh? Did I just say something? I told you, I black out during these seances. Don't remember a thing. Yeah, uh, we we didn't see the culprit, right? We couldn't we couldn't uh, get that face, and that's why we were getting demoted, right? Because we kind of blew it near the end. Let's see. The first thing that comes to mind is this guy. Gan's face hidden under his mask. Yeah, and it's hard oh. to say if this is really related to the case or not. The only other thing I can think of is ah. Oh. Jin Furaway. Huh? It might also apply to Jin. But Jin's face is well known. Yeah, it's not like he hides it. It's true that photos of his face have been all over the place. But he's never actually gone out in public in person. Not even once? Not even once. It's not because he's shy, is it? If that were the case, his photos wouldn't be out there either. I've heard he's an extreme narcissist. He circulates all those pictures himself. By the way, Mama, what's up with those two? Well, the thing is, they had a bit of a differing of opinion. What do you mean? Which is something trivial. No, Mama. The problem is Guinea's total lack of common sense. My lack of common sense? Are you sure you're not talking about yourself? You sound like a stupid person right now. What? You're the one who sounds stupid. You probably couldn't even beat the first question of the All-American Ultra Quiz. W wait, wait. What is this argument even about? Well, we're having a disagreement. All right, you jerk. Why don't we get a neutral third party and ask them? <laughs> That's what happened. So, we came to Marble to get Mama's opinion, and that's where we're at. But when I gave my input, it only made things more complicated. I know. Now that Ryuki's here, let's see what he thinks. Yeah, then we'll know for sure who's right. So, question time. Uh oh. Huh? What's the name of the island where the Statue of Liberty in New York is located? Holy shit. Maybe love Tiana. Even you think that, Ryuki? Alright. The answer is oh. Ellis Island. What? Ho hold on. That's ridiculous. It can't be. The Statue of Liberty is definitely on Liberty Island. Uh. No, it's true that the Statue of Liberty is on Ellis Island. I mean, there's no such thing as Liberty Island anyway. What? That's not true. So you're in agreement with me? There's definitely something wrong here. Hey, what do you think, Tama? Of course it's Ellis Island. This is common knowledge. What? Look, I just looked it up online. There you go. Now do you see? The Statue of Liberty is located on Ellis Island. It can't be. Again, I still can't believe this. Can't fact. believe it. It looks like they're right. Impossible. See? Oh, anyway, they've been butting heads about the location of the Statue of Liberty this whole time. But it looks like they finally came to a conclusion. I see. If you all say so, I must be the one who's wrong. I'm sorry, Amame. I was mistaken. As long as you understand now, that's good enough for me. Everyone makes mistakes. Now. I need to get to work soon, so I'm heading out. I'll stick around for a bit longer. Okay, then I'll see you three later. What about your restaurant, Gen? I closed up shop for the day. I couldn't acquire any ingredients I was satisfied with. Really? Closed for a reason like that? It's really important to me. It would be rude to serve mediocre dishes to my customers. I think I'll go to the warehouse district at the harbor after this. I thought I could watch the waves and think up new dishes. Wing sink. <sighs> what do I 
I do? What in the world should I do? Hmm. Uh. Yes, I love that place. I can watch the ocean in silence with no one around. I find it very soothing. For some reason, Date seems to go there often as well. About Mr. Date. Date for some time. He often stops by Brahmin before coming here to drink. I trust him. There are only three people who weren't afraid of me the first time they saw me. Date, Amame, and Lian. Lian? You know Lian too? Yes, he's a regular at Brahmin as well. Lian just wandered in one day while Date was there. They hit it off right away and had quite a lively discussion. I joined them after closing up for the day, and the three of us drank until morning. Huh. That's an interesting group. I can't imagine what you three would talk about. Probably porno mags or something. What are they, teenagers? Oh, we talked a lot about porno mags. Well, his, uh, his trust. Again. <laughs> Completely went after that. Uh, about the mask. Are we going to go into it? I'm not worried about that in the slightest. Uh, we'll go, go on the left. Matsushita Diner doesn't understand the first thing about the true essence of cooking. About well, Mame. Mame and I go way back. There are times when we have arguments over little things like you saw earlier. I believe I got it wrong. It was, it was the time pressure. We're basically That's my excuse. <laughs> it was the time pressure. So if anything ever happened to her. It wasn't even any time. Could to help. I'm 100% sure they just played the time sound. I believe that I have to protect her, no matter what. Cracked under pressure. Putting Date, Amame, and Lian aside, my appearance makes most people uncomfortable. But if I didn't wear this mask, I would scare them even more. If I recall, your face has a congenital condition. Right. Yes. Would you like to see? Oh, yeah. What? my face no you don't have to if you don't want for to for fuck's sake not that I'm trying to avoid it or anything I said that but to be honest a part of me wanted to see can we not see it now curiosity but because of mama's words from earlier face a hidden face the true face as yet oh I, I know I know oh shit x-ray I don't believe it To clearly see Gen's skull. But it didn't seem like the answer to solving the case was hidden there. I swear, I'm pretty sure that was not the skull that was in uh, the no Somium. Who could go Somium? Yes, let's move on. Well, Gen, Mama, I'll be going now. Very well. Please take care. Stop by to get a break from work every once in a while. Alright, we're going in there, Iris. I'm yawning. Oda's there. Ah, Ryuki! We just finished recording. Oh, good timing. Momo's there. But why are these two here? I just happened to be here by chance. Me too. I'm here completely by coincidence. By coincidence. Momo. Okay, then. So, what is it you wanted to tell me about the case? Yeah, about that. Who, who the hell is that? Hmm? Uh... Masked woman. What? Talk about sketchy. Maybe someone from the talent agency? I don't know. I couldn't see their face, so it's hard to say. Seems dangerous. But I'll put my life on the line to protect Tess. I, I, I mean, Iris. So, uh, don't you worry. M me too. How about the... <laughs> receptionist? It's okay. You don't have to say it. You want to rub these soft things, don't you? No, I wasn't... Fine. Just for a bit, okay? Here you go. 
I moved over to the receptionist and began vigorously rubbing both of her earlobes. It was softer than I expected. Are you okay? What are you doing? When I returned where I was, Iris was looking at me as though I was scum of the earth. Alright. Wow, what a total hottie. What? Oh, this is perfect. I was just starting to get bored. Come on, let's have a chat, cutie. A little tete-a-tete. -tete. Sorry. I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, and your voice is super mega hot, too. Hottie for a thotty. Slide into my DMs anytime, King. Um, I'm here to ask some questions for an investigation. This wouldn't have happened in 2019. <laughs> Wait, you're with the police? Are you friends with Date by any chance? Yeah, he he's my superior. Oh my god! It's such a small world! Crazy! Why is this woman a receptionist? Likely a decision made by the company president. Mizuki? He doesn't know. <laughs> what? What are you talking about, Ryuki? N no! I was just suddenly overcome with an inexplicable urge to go to Atami. There's a receptionist sitting behind the desk. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting. There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Huge breasts. Breasts. I see. There are what are you saying? Wait, what did you say? <laughs> there are huge breasts sitting behind the desk. The receptionist. Forget the investigation. I'm going to a Tommy with her. I've already made up my mind. Don't try to stop me. Oh, boy. Did you take crazy pills this morning or something? We save? I hope there's an auto save. Wait a minute. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? Didn't daddy do this? Or was it something different? Was it a Tommy? Ryuki, please. I have a bad feeling about this. Now, let's go to a Tommy together. Uh, okay. Took a hand and we ran out of lemon skate, leaving Tama behind. Can't believe it. We got the other ending. We got the true ending. Yeah, this is the same place, right? Thus, the case came to a close without being resolved. By life, as a police officer. Hello, Tami. Shizuoka Prefecture. We got my new life as a staff member at an inn here in the Hot Springs District. The end. We did it. Can't believe it. Got the first ending. 